So, how's it going guys? Jeremy here by myself today. Uh, probably had a little business thing. And today was feed day. So, I'm going to show you guys how I assist feed. Because I have a girl right here. Uh, this is week three. She has not eaten. So, and she's a hatchling. So, I want to get her on food. She ate like the first week. But I didn't eat the second or this week. So, I'm going to assist feed her. I'm going to show you how I do it. And... Like what I do. So, but before we get into that, if you haven't already, like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Let me know what you think about this video. Um, and, you know, if you like my videos, you know, subscribe to them. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Now, uh, let's get into this. Oh, and this is for Holly. <laughs> Let's get into this. So, to start off with things, let me grab this little, hey. So I, I tried mice, rats, well, mice, and then now I'm trying an ASF. Uh, and it didn't want the ASF, I left it in there for a little bit. Uh, didn't want it, so now I'm gonna assist feed it, and then try again next week with something and see if it does. So, uh, this was live and then I had to kill the ASF, so guess what, so don't kill my snake. So, uh, I'm not gonna tell you how I killed it and I'm not gonna tell you how to kill it, but y you'll figure it out, it's not my job. So, so I'm gonna get her out. And so all you want to do is you're going to grab your snake. Doing it on camera is way more difficult, I would say, than doing it in part, in like without having to focus on the camera. So, got your snake. Just like that. And you want to keep the neck straight as possible. While you're holding it, holding it right behind the jaws, I'm not squeezing. It looks looks like I am, but like I'm just I'm just holding her. And now, so I how I do it is I take my uh, rodent that I'm going to feed, and I always try to do something a little bit smaller than I normally feed. Um, one, I'm just trying to get her to eat because uh, you know it's the first few meals, and then. Two, uh, it's smaller, so when you're assist feeding, you're not trying to shove a larger cray item down its throat. So all I do, so I'm going to take my ASF, take my snake. Tr the key is trying to keep the neck as straight as possible. So I just take my little ASF, and I'll put the head, the nose right up to the snake's head. And then... Kind of like wiggle it in front of there. Try to get it to open its mouth on its own. Just like that. Just like that, but you know. They don't like this part. But you gotta assist them sometimes so they will start to eat on their own. And they will thrive. So, I got the rodent's head inside of the snake's mouth. So I just kind of, you know, kind of like close the mouth down so they like know what they're, I don't know, trying to show them what to do, you know, chew it up a little bit, you know. So I do that and then once they open their mouth like that again, I'll take it and I will kind of press lightly just shoving it down the throat and then I will kind of rub underneath a little bit and you want to be careful when you do this because if you press too hard it will um rip through the neck like you'll rip through the skin it's very thin skin very fragile baby so we're just gonna keep working on that there's no rush to this it's a nice slow easy and then there we go got the head through 
And you can see the head's right there, so I kind of massage it down a little bit with my thumb. And then it's going to rotate on me, so now I'm going to be doing this upside down. But it's the same thing. I'm just going to slowly kind of get it down in there. So now that so now that it's kind of like most of the way in there, um, this is when I'm going to, because the head's through, I'm just going to set it back down into the dish. And then I just, let's see if you guys see that, hold on. So yeah, um, I just set them in there and then I let them finish the job. So I got about halfway through. I got the head through. You saw where it was coming down through the neck. I and then you know I closed down the mouth, rubbed the neck a little bit, just to you know act like you know it's swallowing. And then yeah, and I just set it in here. After I get it about you know I want to get like it to the shoulders. I want the rodent to be the shoulders at the back of the mouth. Or, you know, that's just what I do. And as you can see, I just put it in there and she ate. Well, she's swallowing now. And like everything else, all I do is just do that. And I never, I don't hold the tub. Let me get her put back now. She's finishing up. One second. So yeah, I'm, I'm never like really holding the tub out there. Just, I do not to show you, but after she's done, I will show you she ate it and you know, no cutting away, you know, one shot here. Um, but yeah, all I do, that's how I assist feed. So you're gonna grab the snake, pinch the jowls between your uh, thing, pointer finger and your thumb, and you wanna keep the neck as straight as possible. And then you just get, I just take the rodent after I, after I kill it, I take the rodent and I'll just, you know, just nudge the nose of the snake with the nose of the rodent and eventually she'll open up, she'll open up, they'll open up. And then that's when you can start assist feeding. That's when you get it in, you shove the head into, not shove, but yes, you shove the head into the throat and then you just slightly press and then you just slowly work the rodent down the throat. That's how I do it. Um, I don't know if you guys do it in a different way. I've seen many ways of doing it. And she is done. I don't know if you guys can see there. She is done. Swallowed. I have never had one like regurge or anything after that after I've assist fed. But yep. So that is what I do. Again, yeah, comment down below if you guys have do it a different way. Or any other tips or tricks you can give. Um, but yeah, I assist feed once, uh, like, on this meal. This this is the third meal. Okay, didn't take it. Time to assist feed. I don't like going past one or two meals on, like, the first go um, of, of them, like, first hatching. I want them to get eating as quickly as possible so they can start going to size. And then you guys can purchase them. But... Yeah, that is, there she is now, just right there chilling. That's how I assist feed, and uh, hope you liked the video. Comment down below, let me know what you thought. Um, hit that subscription button, or hit that subscribe button. God, subscription button, but we ain't got magazines. Uh, uh, subscribe, notification bell, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Holly should be back, and I won't be so matchy-matchy. Mind you guys, I seriously... It was just like, okay, she didn't eat, and it's like 9.30 at night, and I'm like, okay, didn't eat it yet today, so time to assist feed. So, I just wanted to show you how I did that.
So, you, yeah. I think so, so much. I am sorry, guys. It's weird not having Holly here or the kids here. Uh, they're sleeping because it's like 9.30. So, <laughs> I'll catch you guys on the next one. Deuces. Deuces.